if I can remember how it goes, since man's got to put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit, man. It's just the shit. Yeah, that was just like that. They used to hunt men like me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. They used to turn hoes and sick dogs on men like me. They used to beat, rape, and hang men like me from magnolia trees now to find irony. See, we black men are slowly killing ourselves. Smoking plants wrapped in paper made from the same trees our ancestors once hung from, and it's funny. And we do this to ourselves now. See, somewhere on the west coast there's a rapper. Filming a video on a yacht, not even realizing the all too familiar scene taking place in the bowels of this makeshift slave ship. A man from his entourage is violently thrusting his so-called manhood into a young woman's womb, defiling her holy grail, destroying her precious gift from God. He then proceeds to wrap his bony fingers around her neck and scream, I own you, call me master. Meanwhile, uh -huh. Uh -huh. somewhere on the east coast, a young boy takes a shortcut on the way home. Just attempting to make it before the street lights come on, not even realizing he's in the wrong hood with the wrong color on his favorite color. Red. He looked it up and it means passion. And there's nothing that he's more passionate about than words. He dreams of one day using his to leave his mark on the world. Instead, a group of ten come off at the crosswalk. All in the opposite color of his, they strike him using bats and chains, a modern-day lynching, not even taking the time to think that this feels a lot like the situation with Emmett Till. Still, they beat him. His last memories are on earth and off the bottoms of a pair of Tim boots and a voice screaming, I own you, call me master! Meanwhile, somewhere in the South, fine. A much-needed conversation is taking place between two members of a different race when it says to the other, damn. I don't understand why y'all still feel oppressed. I mean, shit, y'all got a black president. What more do you want? The other responds, true. We no longer deal with threats of KKK. Instead, nowadays, black men squeeze hot slugs into the chest of other black men wearing Jesus pieces on their front lawns, so crosses are still being burnt in our front yard, so please, allow me to be the first to apologize to Marcus and Malcolm, Huey, Asada, Angela, I'm sorry. For my generation not allowing your liberation, most of all, I'm sorry that we proved a simple letter from Willie Lynch. Right. Thank you. <laughs>